I want you to meet an amazing young lady called Catalina. She came to us a number of years ago, found Jesus, was filled with the Holy Spirit, and now is an evangelist. She had a camp this last summer, even in the COVID season. She got special permission from the police in her village, and she went back to where she came from and had 60 young people come to hear her preach the gospel. Some of the kids from Vatra village went with her. 60 young people came. 30 were born again and filled with the Spirit. Just a couple of weeks ago, she had a special meeting for all the converts and their friends, and 10 more came to the Lord Jesus. She came from desperate situations. I'll let you meet her. I'll let you meet her now. Her name is Catalina. Watch this. Hello, my name is Catalina. We are nine children in the family and I am the oldest. My childhood wasn't very easy for me and for my family. I started to work as a babysitter and cleaning houses for the rich families since when I was 14 years old. My father had to work abroad, most in Russia, for at least three months so we will have what to eat. My mom had to borrow money from the neighbors, friends, relatives, and I thought that God forgot about us. I still remember those nights when the whole family would gather together to pray for the most elementary things as bread and sugar. I also prayed very much to have the opportunity to go to the university. And I used to think that this would be impossible because I knew that my family can't afford this. But the most beautiful thing that ever happened to me is when I came in the Orphan's Hands ministry and here I received everything I needed and wanted. With the help of the Orphan's Hands, my family received clothes, shoes, food. And now I understand why I went through those difficult and painful periods of time. I want to thank to those people who really care about us in little details because everything I receive fits me perfect. Now I know that I have a family by my side. I thank God to those people who are still listening His calling to help and to take care of us, the ones who are in Moldova.